Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus, and today I wanted to show you how to model a character. Now, I have a good, really good friend named Jed Otanis, and uh, he created this character for me called Calico. And I think I teased it about a while ago, so I think it's about time I went ahead and showed you how to uh, create it. So I've already separated the image into um, two pieces, the front and the side, and I also take a look at the details to see the width and the height of the image. This is gonna help me when I create a plane in Maya. Change the subdivisions to one, and then go to to the scale X and scale Z of the geometry. And what I'm gonna do is take the dimensions of the image and put it in the scale so that when I import to the image, the aspect ratio will be the same. Now don't forget to move the decimal place two times. So that was for scale Z and scale X. There is no scale Y because it's a plane. All right, let's go ahead and rotate the plane 90 degrees. And then we're gonna move it back away from the center of the grid and bring it up. Also, we're gonna scale uniformly, so it still maintains the aspect ratio. Let's go ahead and freeze the transformations, place it in a good spot near the grid. All right, let's assign a surface shader. I use surface shaders when I am using reference images. It helps so there's no shadow information or highlight information. Let's go ahead and label the surface shader. It's really important that you label everything in your file, just in case somebody else gets a hold of it. Let's go to the checker, file, little folder, and let's find our image. Press the number six, and now she's ready to go. Let's go ahead and duplicate it. Go ahead and Press the spacebar to see all four perspective views and change her to 90 degrees. So the goal, the, the goal here is to have the front view have the character's front and the side view be the side view of the character. I went ahead and assigned a new shader. Go ahead and plug in the, the side texture in the surface shader just like we did before. I'm going to go ahead and move her down a little bit just so her feet are actually aligned to the grid. The front and side view are ready to go. Let's go ahead and freeze the transformations and rename the side view. I'm also going to relabel the geometry on both sides. It's always good to be organized when it comes to your Maya scene. The next thing I'm doing is creating a reference layer. Let's go ahead and create a new reference layer at the bottom right and uh, assign the objects to the layer and then make sure that you hit R for reference. All right, so when I start modeling an object, especially a character, I always start with a cylinder. I'm gonna start creating the leg. I went ahead and uh, put in the values of 12 and uh, make sure your cap is to zero. All right, let's go ahead and assign a new shader. I wanna use a Lambert and then I'm going to make it semi-transparent so I can see through it. I'm gonna go ahead and scale uniformly and then I'm going to align the cylinder to the front and side of the leg. So you can see that I'm trying to uh, scale it so it fits the leg as best as I can for now and then I'm going to start tweaking it as well. So I've got the front and side aligned and then I'm ready to start modeling. Then I'm gonna to go to vertices and start scaling. Now I scale on one area, I don't scale uniformly. Make sure that you grab that blue line so it's always about scaling and moving but only scale in one direction because right now we're just focusing on the side view. So go ahead and grab those edges or those vertices and move them and scale them on one direction. So you can see that I'm grabbing every single edge that's there. Notice that I'm not moving them up and down. I am going to add edges later to shape the leg, but right now I'm just using keeping the polygon count as low as possible. All right, so I'm getting this moving along. Okay, I moved that one down a little bit, but just a little bit. And that's gonna create the, her thighs. All right. I'm still keeping my geo low. Go ahead and go to the front view and do the same thing. You're gonna scale uniformly. I'm sorry, scale on one direction. Do not scale uniformly. It's gonna ruin your mesh. Now the purpose of Calico is that she's actually going to be part of a game that I had cr was planning on creating. My focus is mostly animation, but uh, I had an idea of a game, so I started building her. And, uh, and I've been playing around a little bit with Unreal and uh, Unity, so I wanted to see if maybe perhaps I can actually create a game. So she is actually a character that I created for a game about, uh, about looking for cats. So uh, I'll let you know more as, uh, as time goes on. All right, so the next part is actually adding more geometry to the mesh. So you wanna go ahead and shift right click, insert edge loop tool. And again, just be careful, you wanna scale on one angle you don't or one direction you don't want to scale uniformly so make sure you remember that when you when you start doing this so again I can move it I can scale it but uh, 
avoid scaling uniformly. The knee is actually really important. You want to make sure that it has enough geometry to bend. So for example, at least three edge loops around the knee. You can see that I'm actually creating maybe, uh, about four edges and that's going to be important for later. But uh, I just want to make sure that uh, the knee always has enough edges to uh, so the character can bend the knee without breaking. So I'm going to continue doing this. Notice that I haven't gone to the side view yet. I am going to go back and uh, go to the side view and change it. But right now I'm trying to get as much accuracy as I can on the front of the leg. And then I'm going to go to the side view. All right, now I'm going to the side view. And uh, as you can see, it needs a little TLC. I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bit more transparent so I can see it. You want to grab those vertices and start scaling on one direction and then moving it. Now remember, there's a million ways to actually model an object or a character. This is just one way out of many. Some people like to start with a cube. Others start with a plane. I personally like to start with a cylinder. I think this is very fast. I think it's uh, the shape is already there because our legs basically are cylinders and it just gives me a quick, a quick model, which is what I'm looking for. So as you can see, we're going to continue doing that. Now that that's complete, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at it. And you can see that the leg is basically created. I am creating a little bit more edges at the bottom to make sure that the ankle, if it needs to bend, it won't break. And that is how you create the leg. Let's go ahead and delete the top and bottom of the leg. And that's it. The next part is going to be the chest. I hope that was helpful. And we're going to continue with Calico in building the chest. I will see you next time.